What's going on, everybody? Got some Dream Crusher time. You guys will probably start seeing these videos coming on here. I was having an issue with being too long of files for Google Documents, so don't know. So I'm not going to label who these are. You guys could always try to guess. Some people you probably wouldn't know never come on a channel. But um, they'll have a link to the video and everything like that. That's how I'm going to do it this year. Pretty much just uh, email them a link and then come to the video. You guys can always watch. As always, in the description is the microscope that I use. There's a link to it and all that stuff. And the uh, hobby armor and whatever else may be that people usually ask me for. So just check in the description. Link will take you right to it, guys. All right, starting off, this is a, I should have probably showed this. This is a Tiger Woods um, rookie. And I'm going to say right off the bat, right there, that corner is not going to get you a 10. So, right there, you can see it, the whiting. And as you go down with it, you can tell it lost that green onto it right there. Um, what you want, when you're looking at this stuff, guys, you got to really make sure because a 10 and a 9 is big difference in pricing. 10, you know, is a little over 300. A 9, you're looking probably 80 to 100 bucks tops. But, yeah, with this corner right here, you can see the white right there onto it. Um, surface looked pretty clean onto it overall. Not too sure if SGC would be the route for these. I'm just taking this off just to make sure I didn't miss anything onto it. The other thing you gotta be careful for if anybody else is watching this just for more of a tutorial. See this upper deck logo right here? You gotta really look at that to make sure it's no loss. And play with your angles because the way the light reflects onto this, just to make sure it's all there. The backs of these are pretty good offhand. Because you do have the white um, edges onto it, or the corners on the back. But what you got to look at, now as you can see there, you see how it, the surface is not as straight going across. It kind of has those little bit of a divots like Opeachy Hockey had. I've seen it go both ways on grading with that. So the other thing you got to look at, see that big scratch right here on the back going down? So... I'm going to put this back in. I will label what I saw onto it on a sticky for you. Uh, your call if you want to send this stuff to another grading company that's not going to charge you $100 to grade. So, you guys know these videos are going to take me a little bit longer because i got to write stuff now. So, just bear with me if you're just hanging out wanting to listen while you're at work or... Um, on a long drive? I have no idea. Alrighty. There's like four or five of these guys, so if you're, like I say, you're just hanging out in here. I Like I said, I was going to go live doing these, but I it's a little bit harder because i got to watch the chat, and I like to, like to be able to uh, interact. But I'm more in a time crunch with a lot of people's stuff. Ah, close on that corner. But what I just saw, let me see if I can get it here. It's that stupid upper deck thing always keeps changing the color on me here. Notice that, I'll show you with, uh, I don't have a toothpick, or a toothpick, a Q-tip. Hold on. So what I'm seeing on the surface right here, right there going down, you got that line indented into the card. I'm going to pull it back and throw it back up in an angle here. You can see it right there between the lights. Um, I 
whiting on the edge and corner. You got some scratch marks on the front here. And this ain't a glossy card to where you can um, do a little breathing technique to try to hope it was chrome. But you can see them all right there. Ah. Yeah, so much stuff out that I don't make a lot of room for myself to work with right now. A little bit in that top right corner there. You can tell where it's a little bit uh, bent in because of the color change. And if I go like... Uh, kind of hard to see it there. Let me... Right about there, you can just tell there's a little bit different color. But yeah, with the surface the way it is, that's just a regular line in the card there. Hologram there looks pretty decent. But yeah, your major thing is, and then, oh, I forgot to show you this. Right there, where that, I'm going to put the right light onto it. You kind of see that little indention there. I'll take it off. As I'm going down, you can see that chunk right there. And I lost my Q-tip, so I'm going to try to do this with a pen in a way. I just got to see where I'm holding myself at here with it. Right there. So... Yeah. Like I said, I'll mark some of this stuff onto it, but I wouldn't even bother sending these in anywhere. All right, let's go number three. We're going to start with that top corner here. And you can see it's already white. And I'll just go like that just so you can see the loss of gloss there. And then look at that edge. You got some surface scratches. There we go. How do you get the color back? Corner as well. You also, I didn't notice this in the other ones. Let's make sure it's not on the card. Oh, that was fuzz on your card. Okay. Um, you can see some of the scratches right below the light right there. Right below that in the belt line. So with that there, I mean, I, I don't even know if this you'd want to send it in anywhere else. And just so everybody's tracking, this person told me to stop if it's not like going to be a PSA 10 a candidate. But I'm just doing this just real quick as in case they want to send it to SGC. You got some scratches on the back there.
That hologram probably needs to get a little wiped down if you would send it anywhere. I think that's all I saw onto it real quick over. So front, left, and right corner white, front, left edge white and then we got scratches front and back All right, we go Tiger Woods number four. There's five of them now, guys. Five of them. You're sticking around to watch the Tiger Woods marathon. Well, I can tell you right now, big old line scratch right there, going through the beam of his hat. Corners got whiting. Yeah, a little bit of a soft corner there on the bottom. Corner's kind of there. But your biggest thing, you got the whiting up here. And that shows it perfectly. And then this mark going down his beam. Down to his hand pointing. Alright, let me go this way with it. Yeah, it starts at the edge and it goes down to about his pocket. Then on the back, I'm catching him right there. Oh, in that picture frame. I mean, I should have my mom down here writing this stuff up as I do them. Pay her a dollar an hour. All right, let's see here. Last Tiger Woods. Can we get a one with no scratches and nothing around the corner? Oh, you got whiting there in top left corner.
see this other corner real quick. A little bit of whiting in the top right too. You can see the little uh, piece of white right there. I'm going to look to see if I see any surface scratches because... Didn't really see much. I get refocused. There we go. A little bit of a print error there, or print dot they missed. Left side edge, a little rough there in the middle. And down there. Yeah, some marks there in the back. But yeah, I mean, maybe a eight, maybe a seven. I have no idea. But definitely not, probably a nine or a ten on any of these. All right, up next we got Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. And these I'll start showing just because it was easy for me to say Tiger Woods earlier. Actually, let me see if I can get right here. This Jordan here. Oh, crud. Let me see if I can maneuver my left hand doing this. Ooh. Oh, wrong one. That Jordan there. Face to face, it says. Alrighty. I saw a miner on the back. Alrighty. If you're looking, you can see. Where am I at here? All right, there's my pen. The bottom edge right here, your left side, all that chrome. Not good. Plus, let me see where my pen's at here. All right. Right there, you got to chip into it below the C and face.
Or I get my color back. I gotta hold this at an angle because the refracting light is messing it up. All right. Minor side, bottom left corner. See if I can get right about onto it here again. Top left corner on minor. Right above this E here, you see a little bit, he's missing a chrome. So, yeah, definitely not a 10. Those are some hard ones there. Alrighty. Do a mouse again. NBA Jam Session. Lodge one Thor Matambo Kemp. Backside. Huh, I thought Jordan was on this for some reason. Guess not.
little bit there on that top right corner edge. Look at this edge here. Right, back side. Wait a minute. Is there no card number on this? Wow. All right. Ah, got text. Hold on. Ah. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. I was dealing with my uh, order. All right. See the NBA logo right there? And the red? You got chunks missing right in there. Barkley edge side bottom right there. Below Morris. I mean, if you really want to grade this card, I'd probably say try SGC, but I probably would not spend any money grading it. Again, your call what you do. I clicked it. This one's got uh, on the front Pippin. Back Jordan. By looking at this.
Let's see here. Ah, microscope up. Ah, microscope up. There we go. This is the one corner I'm most worried about. And you can see it right there. As the glow comes off, there's a little bit of whiting in that bottom left corner of the Pippin side. See how that one has solid into it, or the other one didn't, in the red? I mean, this might be a pretty decent SGC can, to be honest. Kemp, Fleer. I'm not even going to go any further. Let me get a focus. Right below that light, below the A in slam, big old divot. We'll get a corner real quick on it. It looks a little soft to me when I'm looking at it, but it could just be the white. But yeah, I'll show you the divot here. It's huge. Once I figure out where I'm at with my camera. Right there. Neat. Oh, crud. Hold on. Let me take it down. So that's going to be what your note says on it like that. Just reference the video. Stockton Beam Team. Right off the bat, but I even, I'll take it out. Centering's off left and right.
You can tell between the, uh, this and this. It's not really close. Um, your call. You kind of can see the white on the edges on this. It'll probably show better once I do the back and I'll show you. And you do have some crazy marks on the back with some divots. So, let me get the camera up. I got to figure out where I was looking at this now. Okay, right in that white box. Right below the lights. I'm getting ready to hit it. Top right or bottom right lights on now. You got a divot. I saw one more. Okay, it's up in the... Lights on now. Off. Now on. Well, kind of on. There it is. So two big divots in the back. And then I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. I don't look like it. I don't know how to explain it. See right there? How it has like a loss in the gloss. And you got those chips right there. It's very noticeable. I've actually had to pull it up at a different angle so you can see it. And then you're edging on the bottom. I mean, the front you'd have to wipe down because the chrome onto it is very... Um, Tarnished, I guess would be the way to say it. See how dirty it looks? Everything else looks pretty decent other than that. Ah, hitting my canned air. Ooh, Shaquille O'Neal, Young Lion. I think it was there tight. By looking at this, bottom left corner, white. A little bit of white up there, but my, they are in FLIR. Corner, corner, and I'll show you real quick. The, the, this ain't even worth sending anywhere. Oh. Look at that, corner. Corner. That one ain't that bad. A little bit there. Show you above that R and Fleer. Let 
and this corner. Yeah, I, I would not send that in at all. Back was what top left and right corner. Yep. Right. Trucking light along here. I need my phone over here so I can make sure. No more crazy messages come up. All right, Jordan, top stadium club. I can tell you right at the bat from the hand going down by the ball. Hold on, let me get the focus onto it. See that mark to the left of the light? Starts right. If you go across from his armpit, goes up into the hand of the ball. First thing I noticed. White bottom right corner. I don't know what side of the corner. I think it was this one. You can see the white right there a little bit in that uh, bottom left-hand corner. And then you'll see this line right there. You can see like a little indent right there. And then just follow it the whole way up. It's like a scratch in the surface, basically. That's going to kill the card overall. A little bit on a corner there. Backside. Not bad. You got some whiting at the top there and the edges. You can kind of see it there with the marks at the top. Those vertical lines going down off the edge. I'm trying to see if I can find a better way to show it. Let me see if I can. I guess you can kind of tell there. Look like icicles.
89 All Stars. So, what's hard on these is because if you watch, like, where they start, I'll show you here. Let me go this way. When you look at this card level, notice how this starts raising up. It goes up at an angle. So, it's hard to determine top and bottom centering. Are they going from here up or here up? I don't recall, but left and right looks pretty much intolerance. Back, left, and right off, as you could tell, centering. A little bit of whiting there at the top. We'll see that in the camera. All right. Not bad overall. I mean, I don't know if you want to PSA it, but I mean, top, maybe the bottom left corner there. Take a look here. So what I'm noticing... That corner right there. If you let me try going this way with it. Uh, let me back in the scope. There we go. Right into that star. You see how it's not all like dark blue in a way. A little bit there in the corner. And then my other worry is this. That top edge. Very noticeable. I probably would not do this PSA. This would be something where somebody does half point values, but you're going to have to look it up offhand. Don't know the prices on to them for like if you did an SGC route, they came back like at eight. All right, moving on, moving on. Shaq, rookie standouts from upper deck. I'm seeing some marks up in here and dents. Seeing whiting down here at this bottom corner. Guess I move my hand, you might be able to see it better. Hold on. But up here, I think it's going to show. It's right above where that light is. I'll show it to you on camera. Uh, back centering left and right. See that corner there, how it's whiting as it goes down, kind of like rounded looking? That's your loss of the chrome-ish thing down there. See how I can get this in here. Wow, I cannot get them marks. Let 
find my finger real quick. All right, now I know where I'm at. All right, it's really, really hard to see. Right there in the right of the light, do you see there's like a black line? Right about, let me find where my pen comes in at. Right about up in here. It's kind of hard to see the pen. There it is, right up in here. And then right down below it in here, there's a, right there. In that same light area, right in there, you can see the other piece. I just want to look at this logo real quick. Not bad for being circular. I mean, I wouldn't send it into PSA, to be honest, unless you're looking for a lower grade. Again, if I send something back to you and you still want to go PSA, just send it back with a blue sticky on it, and I'm good to go. Ready. Up next on Dream Crusher, Jordan. And I know you said you wanted these to 10, but top left corner has whiting. Yeah, a couple marks in the back, too. All right, let me flip it around and I'll show you. It will not gem. Top right corner. Look at this one real quick. It's kind of catchy. Yeah. But my concern is, as soon as I look to the back, I just got to find the right word on here to look at. See right there where the word team is? I'll put it down below. Right where the E is, as I come up, there's like part of the plastic is off. It's the best way that I could describe the look under magnification, but it's like a bubble. I don't know if this is going to pick this up. Yeah, there it is. So right below the light, you can see the print line going up. That they might not gig you on. But the corner definitely already takes you down to the 9. That bubble in the back, I'm not too sure. All right, I'm going to take a small break while I wait for something to be delivered, and then I'll continue on with the video. So I'm going to hit stop, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 